Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a looks for less or like higher end makeup items for less. There is this brand that sent me this huge box. It's from Emco Beauty. They're like an Australian brand and everything is like a look alike for Charlotte Tilbury or a Drunk Elephant and I could not wait to show this package to you guys because it is seriously so fun. So I'm going to share that with you and also I have products from LA Colors. They sent me this huge box so everything's affordable. Um, we have a new CoverGirl foundation that we're trying out today. Cannot wait to share with you guys all the products that I use and it's just so fun. It's so much fun. And we're going for like a smoky kind of glam. So if you're interested, please subscribe and turn on that little bell. Basically, you'll just get notified every time I upload and let's get into it. So this is the box that I'm going to be reviewing today and playing with. This is from a brand called M... I don't know if it's MCO Beauty or MCO Beauty. I think it might be MKO. But basically their whole thing is that they have affordable products and they're actually a lot of... I feel like you can't even say this word anymore because you get flagged. D-U-P-E-S. I feel like you can't say it anymore on YouTube or on Instagram, but they're basically lookalikes. And I'm gonna show you guys. The box they sent over is really cool. They are an, an Australian brand. And the stores that they're carried in now in the US, um, I don't have any of these stores here. Maybe you guys do. Uh, Fred Meyer, which I think might be like, an, I don't know, Indiana store. Kroger, Ralph's, which I think is in California. Fry's, I don't know what that is, or Smith's. So if you have any of those stores, you can now get this brand there. Um, but if not, then I think you can get this stuff online. I hope you can because their stuff is really cool. So I will show you guys the box that they sent. It's really awesome. Look at all of these products. Do they remind you of any brands? So it's a lot of lookalikes for Charlotte Tilbury as well as for Drunk Elephant. A little bit of Glossier inspired in there as well. So the only thing is they don't have any eye products in here so I decided to use products that I got from LA colors for my eye products I was using them yesterday um, and I really like also that they're so affordable you can get them at Dollar General and five below some stuff whoop, from LA colors and they had sent me so much stuff like look at this you guys colorful eyeliners they sent me tons of lip liners you guys I keep trying to film and then it's turning off or overheating but we're going to be using the LA Colors Glam eyeshadow palette, which has more cool tones in it. Yesterday I used this one, the Alluring Beauty. I think I like warm tones better than cool tones. What do you guys feel? I think warm tones are a little more flattering on me. So yeah, this one's a little bit more smoky. My crease shade on the palette, they call it a highlight, but I'm going to use it as a crease shade. It's just like a light matte, very light matte tan brown color filming in my regular space you guys know my last tutorial my dog tomato tutorial i filmed in natural daylight but there's like really not a lot of daylight today so we're back here in the setup where i have all my like ring lights dark i need to like get put out another light two lights but right now i only have on my ring light because it's just like a light dusting it's not anything like intense this brown shade that says crease and gonna fluff out the outer area is he carrying it no oh cooper's pretty cool where is it oh there it is he loves it I'm just smoking this out. I've been watching a lot of makeup tutorials recently on TikTok, like eyeshadow and face. And I'm actually really enjoying watching them on there. I'm enjoying watching the makeup tutorials more on there than on YouTube. I watch YouTube a lot, but for other other things, I feel like I don't really watch as many makeup tutorials on YouTube. I think I'm gonna take, I don't like the shades that are in the palette for the lid. So I'm gonna take this. ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in I Heart This. It's like a shimmery taupe color. And I'm just going to pick some up on my finger and then pat this on. I feel like this is going to look pretty 
with those other shades because they're cool toned and it's going to give that kind of like smoky lid look and I'm literally just using my fingers because that's the best way to apply the super shock shadows these that they are so good and don't worry we're going to be using the mco beauty stuff very soon so stay tuned for that or if you want to fast forward to that part that's fine too and i'm going to take that brown crease shade and i'm going to take a little pencil brush and just sweep that underneath the eye again just because we're getting it pretty smoky okay so i finished up doing a liner i did it off camera because my camera was overheated again so i just did some black liner and i kind of did a little bit of a smudge but i still have my classic wing because that's usually what i always have um so now let's try out some stuff from the mco mco beauty this is their extend lash and it says that it's the number one best-selling mascara one is sold every 32 seconds i'm gonna go ahead and assume that's in australia um not here yet <laughs> so uh, let's see how this is i'm very curious if it's so popular like why is it so popular i mean it's definitely a pretty mascara i do really like it you guys have heard of this brand before let me know but i think they're literally just kind of popping up everywhere because obviously we never heard of it here in the states but i'm sure if someone was australian and they saw this brand they'd be like oh yes like <laughs> we know this brand well she liked the way it made my lashes look i don't know like something about them like they kind of look a little I didn't say the word spiky, but I kind of like it. I kind of like the look of it. Like it's a little bit different than your typical mascara. So yes, I do. I do really like that. The Extend Lash Tubular Mascara. This does this look familiar. This is the Souffle. Souffle. I said that so weird. Souffle Dream Moisturizing Cream with 10 Oil Blend and Ceramide Complex. So this is supposed to be like the drunk elephant. You see, they have like the little same pump top. I, you know, I already had a moisturizer on, but we'll just put on more. You can never have enough, right? And then I actually, there's a couple other products in here that I want to show you guys. Um, ooh, this feels good. It's like kind of a little bit thick. And you can also mix this with, what so you guys see this, the Super Glow Bronzing Drops, which look just like the D-Bronzy Drops from Drunk Elephant. So... Like, they even make the packaging look so similar. Antioxidants, cocoa extract, and hyaluronic acid. Shake well. Oh, and they also have this, you guys. This is the Instant Glow Flash Primer. Hair on my face. Which is also like the, the Charlotte Tilbury. I've always wanted to try something like the D-Bronzy. So I'm excited to like have something that's a little more affordable. This is $20 is what the packaging says, little top. But I love these types of bronzy things because I can match my face to my body. I'm just going to blend this out. And we are, of course, going to apply a foundation too. But do you guys remember, like, well, it wasn't really too long ago, but the D bronzy, like, uh, got so popular on the TikTok. And then it was, like, sold out for a really long time. And it just kind of red mark that is really weird i don't know where that came from much better when my face has this little bit of tan to it so i really like these also have this which i will put on uh in the meantime it's this two-in-one lip treatment it doesn't really say much else but this is 8.99 i like to have on like a lip treatment oh there's like these little roller balls in your makeup oh my gosh the little cooling roller ball thingies are actually so nice I never had a lipstick gloss like this where it had these little massagers. It feels so good. Lashes from LA Colors, and honestly, they're kind of crazy. So I feel like I will have to cut them to make them look somewhat normal. I'm gonna use a mirror to help me out here. So basically, it helps if you can have a mirror and then you look down into your mirror. I've been wanting to do underneath lash extensions, like the ones you can do at home, because I have a bunch of kits I want to try, but I haven't done it yet. I think I'm just partially scared to like mess it up or ruin my lashes, but I mean, they come right off. So I want to definitely try those and let you guys know like if it's something, you know, worth doing, because I think the 
I really like the look of that, especially for like the week if I don't want to put on anything. I can just have those lashes on. So if you guys have tried those DIY lash extensions, um, let me know like your experience and if you like putting them on. Um, I see so many girls have them and I think they look so pretty. Um, but I also, I do like my natural lashes. Like I think I have long lashes. So I think maybe also that's why I haven't done it yet because I'm like, oh, I'll just put on mascara. But it will be fun, especially for like a vacation. Guys, I'm back. Um, I put the lashes on, last thing we did. And also, can you tell the lighting is so much better because the sun came out. It's just so much better filming when the sun is out. But there's no foundation like in this box. I don't have any LA Colors foundation, so I'm just gonna pick something from my draw. Actually, you guys know what? I have a new foundation that I wanted to try with you from CoverGirl. It's the new Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. It's really interesting. It's supposed to be like this Chanel foundation that's like over $70. Actually, they sent it to me in PR. Let me show you guys what it looked like. Okay, super cute. Very this was the package they sent and I've been meaning actually to show this to you guys. So this is perfect timing. This is the inside and there's more shades. They said like down underneath here. So I gave one away. This is the one that I used and I think I might have to do a deeper one like medium to match my self tan so we're gonna do medium but this has baca chile in it which is a natural alternative to retinol so it actually has like skincare ingredients in it which i think is so interesting and um innovative but also when you see this up close i don't know if you guys can see from where the camera is this has like these little round spheres in it and i've never seen anything like it before like it's not like a typical foundation it says it's skincare and makeup hybrid with micro droplet technology pigmented capsules blend easily to distribute an even tint and improve tone complexion looks plump refreshed and more youthful it's clean and vegan and it says it's dermatologically tested so i did try this once i think i tried it for tiktok and i actually really liked it to do this now for youtube which is always exciting you know how much i love testing out new products with you especially drugstore so we're still on the affordable train here is it definitely still expensive i think it's about 20 dollars at the drugstore so obviously that's still a lot but i guess when you're comparing it to something that's 75 and up it's still like a deal this is the medium and it's so interesting when you pump it out it's just like clear and then like the little blobs and it's a very natural finish but you guys will see like when i'm done blending it out it actually gives like pretty nice coverage which was something that surprised me about this foundation i was like oh it's gonna be like so so light like a tinted moisturizer by the way is anyone shopping the sephora sale i think they just call it the spring savings event now although majority of us know it has the vib sale i'm not a vib i'm not even like the second level i'm like the lowest whatever low level because i rarely shop at sephora and i'm i don't even have status at ulta because again i don't go there too much i went the other day and i got a couple things i actually have to go back and make a return because two of the things that i got i did not like these like press on lashes from ardell so bad and also i tried out again the sol de janeiro um the cheriosa the one that's like the popular one you, you all know it um i tried it again i had it once before and it gave me a headache tried it again and I, it like makes me I don't know what it is you guys because I love vanilla but something about that particular scent from Sol de Janeiro like it gives me a headache but I have their other scent and I really like it I'm forgetting I think it's maybe 40 that's the one I have and I wear that one when I go to the gym and I that one does not give me a headache I like that one it's a lot more like fresher Whereas some, there's just maybe like there's a note in the 62. So I got this like little mini set. The mini set was $30, which was, I mean, I guess that's a pretty standard rate for them. But I feel like it makes my skin look really like fresh and like not like I'm wearing a lot, which I do like. So I think this is something nice if you want something very fresh for a foundation. I think if you have a lot of acne, I don't think this is going to be like a great choice. This is like me, but um, my nose leaks all day. All day, a dark thing, insane. Like, 
it doesn't even matter like summertime so i'm always wiping my nose on to actually i want to try this product Ooh, from <laughs> almost knocked the whole box over this is the brow laminate sculpt set from mco beauty it's like there's two combs on one side but then oh that's interesting okay so i'm gonna use this to brush up oh gosh that's a lot of product i'm gonna use this to brush up my brows Ooh, this is nice wow that actually using it with this comb what do you guys think of the laminated brow look wow this product is actually really good i have used quite a few of these like laminate type products but this one i feel like it actually is like giving that kind of look oh my gosh wait this is really good <gasps> wait i love this this is so good this is like actually making the brows look feathered okay yes 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 this is good stuff three blushes to choose from i'm gonna show you guys what they have so first we have the super glow brush drops did i say that right blush drops and this i think is um a lookalike for the bluesy drops which i actually have from drunk elephant and i didn't like i didn't like love those maybe this one's better um but yeah these guys these are 20 dollars. this one i'm very curious to try i think i'm the most excited about this one it's the soft matte beauty wand and this is in flushed blush so i think we'll try that one and this is the third option they have for blush which reminds me a lot of glossier it's the cheek and lip tint in blush red and i did my lower lashes now let's try out the blush oh i also did my concealer and powdered underneath my eyes never used these like products before from charlotte tilbury so this is definitely going to be like a first for me so just squeeze a little bit and it'll come out on this little little knob okay there it is so i'm just going to oh my gosh that is bright as all can be holy brightness i think that's too much you guys obviously do not need a lot of this because it is quite intense man but this is really good i i would have to say like this is very pigmented so their highlight and glow wand and by the way these are 18 zalas and of course this also looks like the charlotte tilbury you guys know it's like a very famous product from her same thing you turn it on squeeze I think I'm gonna actually put this on my finger. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like very champagne-y. Guys, I cannot get over how pretty this highlighter is. I just took some up on my finger and I'm just dotting it onto like my cheekbone as I usually do. And it just gives like this really beautiful lit from within type of glow. Oh my gosh it's so pretty okay i love this so far everything has been amazing from this line oh wait i keep forgetting to turn it off okay close it and then we have the third charlotte tilbury no it's actually not the third it's like the fourth look alike this is the instant contour cream bronzer so again i have never tried the charlotte tilbury bronzer i really have only tried like two of her products um the primer and the what was the other one? Oh, the like flawless filter that's in the little two like three dots I'll limit myself and blend that out this side three dots I've always wanted to try this product from Charlotte Tilbury so this is really fun to get the chance to use something similar So if you guys have any of those stores that I listed, hopefully you can find this brand and try them out for yourself because I'm very impressed with the quality of these products so far. Like they are really good. Okay, just a little bit is literally all I needed. I didn't want to go too crazy and then have my um, skin look like 
what the heck did she do? I'm just gonna add a little more to the forehead. Do use some lips. This should be our last step. Um, let's use, let's see, there's some colors here. Let's do this one. This is my favorite nude from LA Color. Film so many products for you guys today because I hate when I get behind on my reviews. Like I wanna be able to keep up with everything um, that I'm getting and receiving in PR so I can share with you guys. Just gonna wipe off a little bit of this lip oil. So there are a couple things that I want from the Sephora sale. Like a couple things from Makeup by Mario. I've always wanted to try his eyeshadow. I feel like it's like pulling orange on me, which is strange. Add um, this MAC lipstick in a loop. Okay, this is the Lip Lights Shine Gloss. So when you open this, there's a mirror on one side. When you open it, you guys, there is a little light on the inside. How cool is that? So you can like literally take this with you on the go. Oh my gosh, and it smells so good. It smells like watermelon. I think I just got some on my teeth. Like, how pretty is that? I love pink glosses and I love the little light that they put on there. The thing I will do is spray my face with the LA Colors Matte Finishing Spray. Okay, I feel like we're pretty much done. I'm just gonna take these little clips out that have my little tendrils hanging. Oh my gosh, like everything was so nice in the MCO beauty launch. Like I loved everything. I feel like they are spot on for DUPES. <laughs> I feel like they worked so well. So I'm impressed. Like and all the LA color stuff too, I really liked. So again, if you guys want to go to those stores, Kroger's, Fred Meyers, Ralph's, that's where you can find them. Um, I had so much fun doing this like little high end for less you guys know this is like my favorite type of content doing things that are affordable beauty and like lookalikes and all that fun stuff so i hope you guys loved this comment down below i hope you enjoyed the look i actually love the way that this makeup came out like the eyes are so much fun oh my gosh like so fun and i am wearing my green contacts today my last video i was wearing like my brown ones but today i have my green ones on i love the green ones they're like probably probably my favorite favorite ones um but yeah i really love this look and i hope you guys enjoyed it too thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i will see you next time bye